Hello everyone, this is Timo from China, Germany and today I have something very special for you. It's not a phone, it's not a tablet. It's an Android TV box from Minix. It's called Neo Z64. It's the first device of this kind from Minix which has an Intel SoC. So it's very powerful. It has the Z3735 integrated that we know from many other tablets already, from um, even from many small um, notebooks or detachables. And now I'm going to show you this device um, a bit more detailed. But first, let's have a look at the packaging. Um, it looks quite beautiful, quite professional. It has a nice print on it, the name Minix Neo Z64. On the left here we have some specifications which are supported. Here are the yes, the things that come with the box packaging. It's the box itself, the remote um, power plug, uh, a HDMI cable and a USB cable. On the back here are some more specifications. Yes. And here's the Minix logo, some serial numbers. So all in all, it's a beautiful packaging. Uh, so now let's take a look at the Minix, Minix Set 64 itself. It somehow looks like um, an Apple product. If you wouldn't see this antenna here, it may be an Apple TV. But this yeah, shape is not that special. It's nice, black, soft. It feels quite soft. It's quite beautiful. Um, if it, uh, yeah, if you put it beneath your television or something near your TV, it doesn't look uh, somehow ugly or bad. And um, so this is not the most important thing on this device. So let's have a look at the ports here on the front is a receiver for the infrared remote. Here is in Starches LED, the power button, um, you know, port for a micro SD card, two USB 2.0 um, ports, a headphone jack. You can use it to connect your, uh, yeah, your normal HiFi system if you want, an HDMI port, um, LAN port, a, uh, and the thing for the power adapter. On the left side it's quite clear and this antenna you can uh, change, change it in any direction. So it's quite powerful. The Wi-Fi is pretty good with this antenna. You don't need um, a LAN cable. And on the bottom here is the Android figure so you see this is the Android version of the box. There is even a Windows version available which can be bought. It supports or it's, it's shipped with Windows 8.1 on it. So you can use it as a normal PC in this, in this size, which is pretty, pretty awesome in my opinion. But that's all the physics side on this. Thing. Let's take a look on the system itself and the performance and for that I will connect it with my television and uh, then show you how this thing works uh, yeah, in reality. But first I want to show you this thing. Um, at Geek Buying they sent me this with the box as a gift. It's a little, little mouse, uh, it's wireless mouse. Inside here is the little adapter, USB adapter, so you can use it with the Minix Neo Z64. It's not the best built mouse in the world, it's pretty cheap, but it's better than nothing and it works good. It does its job quite well, so it's, I think it's a nice thing to get this gift too. See you in a few minutes and um, be excited about the box. So, welcome back. Here we are with the Minix Neo Z64, but before we start with the performance demonstration, I will show you the remote that comes shipped with the 
Neo Z64, that's this one. It works via infrared. It has here those direction uh, cross with the OK button, uh, volume switch, back, home, menu and settings uh, button. Uh, but the settings button doesn't work indeed, so I don't know what's good for. So the remote itself works, but not the settings button. Yeah, you see here I can use it if I point to the device. So, um, however, this is pretty bad to use because Android's not made for just left, right, up, down, OK buttons. Um, it needs a touch screen or a mouse. So that's pretty bad uh, and if you have to um, type in text it's even worse. So I took 20 euro and bought this one. It's a Transmart TSM uh, 01 or 01. It has those direction buttons here too, a menu, uh, oh, uh, an OK button here. Left mouse click, right mouse click, home. And on the back it has a full keyboard, which is great if you have to type in a URL or a um, um, search query for a video. And the best thing with it is that it has an air mouse feature. So if I point the remote to the left, the mouse uh, goes to the left. If I point it to the right, it goes to the right. So it follows my movings. This is very great. Um, and if you want to use such a TV box, you have to buy an air mouse or use the a uh, wireless mouse that comes shipped with it as a gift from, Geekbuying, uh, from Geekbuying, but yeah, you need something like that. The uh, ship, shipped remote is not really good for it. So um, this video, in this video I will use this air mouse um, to show you a few things and the performance of the, of the system and um, keep this in mind while watching it. At first this is the Minix launcher here. Um, it looks quite special, but it's pretty pretty easy to use. Uh, you have here those icons. You can see here's the video, and if you click it, there comes a folder with with uh, videos. You can add apps here. Um, here's a folder with XBMC, and there's the XBMC app. What a surprise! Um, there's a folder with the music icon and there's Spotify and music apps under it. So those work as um, folders. This one works as a yeah, link to the actual settings app. It looks like the normal settings app you know from other Android devices. Here you can look at uh, the informations. So that's nothing special special here um, you know maybe no other Minix TV boxes um, where even the settings app is has a Minix skin on it so this box hasn't um, already been uh, yeah hasn't this settings skin it's normal stock vanilla Android which is not bad it's okay and um, there are other things like the app drawer that looks like stock normal Android. So, um, but it's functional, simple and fast all over. Um, here on the top you see the, those icons, so you can see which of those is uh, active. So uh, at the moment I have Bluetooth activated, Wi-Fi activated, VLAN activated and if you um, pull down this list. Here you can see those notifications and on the right we have the quick settings app where, where you can configure what uh, to be activated. So here I can uh, turn off Bluetooth. Yeah, no big deal. It's like on any Android uh, and it's easy to use. Uh, down here you have those um, icons like you know from every phone but there's even an icon for taking taking screenshots uh, change the volume and um, make power settings like switching the device off or put it to sleep mm. those are the customizations Minix made with the system 
um, which is okay. It's not um, much special, but it's good. Now I will show you a few videos. So here we are. Let's start the XPMZ app here. It's um, even a special Minix version, but you can't see anything of it on the system actual. It's just on the startup. Let's start with a 4K movie. It's um, 4K H264 with 30 fraps, 4K Dolby Digital Audio, which works um, actual. And um, if I would turn up the volume. But if you look at the Mm, yeah, but the pictures themselves, they are really beautiful, everything works or is played smooth and uh, without any lags or skipping of frames and the colors are beautiful and um, it's quite amazing that uh, the Intel 3735 um, can do this uh, to decode 4K movies that fast and fluent. So the output is of course just full HD with uh, 1120 times 1080, but um, yeah, it's quite an awesome chip. The performance is really good. And if we go back, so 4K, so of course full HD works anyway. So this is a full HD movie. And let's take a look at um, th this was MP4 and now let's take a look at MKV containers. Let's skip forward a bit. It's Full HD with 24 fraps. Uh, Full HD Dolby Digital 5.1 which works indeed. As you've seen, if you, if you skip, you have to wait a few seconds till Till the video is loaded, buffered or whatever, but yeah, it's displayed smooth without lags like the 4K movie, so um, it's not depending on on the on the video codec, which which um, is there actually. So let's go back. Um, so those are H264 videos. Um, what is a problem in fact is um, H265. So let's start this video with the XPMZ app and you can see so this is not displayable. It's in full HD video with H265 format but it lacks a lot. So you can watch this as a video in fact as you see this thing here uh, doesn't really move uh, anyhow. You can't even say okay it's bad quality but it's okay so you can't watch a movie um, in this format on this on this chip. Maybe it's too old I know. The performance of the chip is great but yeah it doesn't work with those videos. Anyhow, it's great that Dolby Digital audio output works and that um, 4K movies even work if you have some. So it's not depending on the on the video codec even. Um, so this time audio is just MP3, MP3, but that's not a problem. As you see, this works as those other videos too. Fast, smooth, no problems at all. So let's go back. Now I will show you some yeah, demonstrations of the performance. Open a few uh, YouTube videos or browser pages and um, so you can see how smooth the whole system is with multitasking and everything. And um, you will see some screenshots of um, benchmarks, but before I will do this performance demonstration, you will hear my conclusion. And I think the Minix Neo Z64 is a great Android TV box. Um, the performance is really good, it's really fast, the, those Intel chips are great, and 
um, for the price of it, it's really good, a good thing. But you need a mouse or an air mouse for it because otherwise it's not really usable. The thing is, everyone has smart TVs if you buy a new television today. But your television may be good in five years too, but the smart TV isn't. This um, TV is, um, yeah, I don't know how old exactly, but a few years old. It has smart TV functions, but those are not usable. They are slow. Um, yeah, the system is not usable. There are apps that don't work and everything. So this is a great thing. You can buy a good television for maybe six, seven hundred euro or dollar or whatever, and. Uh, if the smart TV doesn't work, you can buy simply a new box. And if this box isn't working anymore, or it's old and slow and no more, not good enough, you can buy a new one for a hundred bucks. So that's not a great, uh, not a big deal, um, and no problem. So I prefer these systems which work fast. You can install every app you want. You don't have to wait for it. So I think such a smart TV, uh, such an Android TV box is really great and maybe Minix uh, even provides an uh, Android TV update sometime so you are prepared for, for the future. I have to thank uh, Geekbuying for providing me this test unit and thanks all, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and know more about the device now. If you liked it, you can hit the like button, share and follow. You can uh, follow us on Twitter, on Facebook, or on Google+. Plus. I would appreciate it if you take a look over and um, goodbye and see you the next time.